May 20th, the year 2020. Doesn't even sound right. Maybe I'm just getting old. Yesterday, I stopped by at Poolin's Auctions and wanted to take a peek at a few firearms that I thought were interesting from this upcoming auction. The uh, firearm that we left it with was the Armalite AR-17, the golden gun. The uh, Armalite's uh, entry into the self-loading shotgun uh, arena and uh, the AR-17, how cool is that? People are really familiar with some of the AR series guns, uh, but the AR-17 is one that typically uh, isn't seen all that much. I've always thought they were kind of neat and I wanted to share that with you. Because we've gotten so much feedback on it, I thought I would go back through the inventory today and pull out five scatter guns, five different shotguns that I thought were interesting that are coming up in this auction as well. So here's a shotgun from this auction that I thought was pretty interesting. You'll recognize right away it's a Sega platform gun. Uh, the Sega shotguns don't really need any introduction. It's a fairly current gun. Unfortunately, we can't import them right now because it's a Russian firearm, but they were a very popular gun, uh, a real popular platform to do all kinds of neat things to. The interesting thing about this particular one is, well, number one, they have one, and they've been tough to find lately. Um, but where a lot of them in their builds are based on uh, the AK or the Galil, this one is kind of a, a mashup where um, the build direction went towards the MP5, the HK MP5. If you'll notice, it has the MP5 forend on it, uh, the MP5 style sights, including the four position rear drum. And uh, I thought that it was an interesting take on it. It has an interesting muzzle brake on it. It has the side folding stock. Um, again, like we see on a lot of them, um, really cool 12 gauge. And this particular one was made by, uh, or, or converted or sporterized or accessorized uh, by Red Jacket Firearms uh, in conjunction with that television show, Sons of Guns, that used to be on. And uh, thought that made this particular one interesting. Anyway, it will be in the next auction and it is lot number 1333. Now here is a blast from the past if you're into cool old shotguns. The high standard model 10B bullpup combat shotgun. This little shotgun deceivingly has an 18 inch barrel and the overall length is 28 inches. It gives the impression of being so much shorter than that but it's all because of the design. The chamber is all the way back here. Now, obviously, as with any bullpup, the ejection port is on the right-hand side. So this is for right-hand shooters only. There's absolutely no way a left-handed shooter could get up in there and, and not get a face full of casing. Anyway, it's a high standard model 10 series B and police shotgun, it's called. Really neat piece self-loading semi-automatic has a charging handle in the back on the right side also has a charging handle in the front on the left side very interesting piece this one is lot number 2653 and there's another piece in that lot with it and the gun that's in the lot with the high standard is a Benelli M2 now the Benelli M2 is a variant that's related to the um, the gun in our community that was very popular, the M1 Super 90, and even more so, the M1 Super 90 entry model, um, which were a little 14-inch barreled, uh, short-barreled shotgun that were available back in the late 80s or early 1990s. Um, they had a, a, their claim to fame was they were the fastest shooting, self-loading shotgun. I don't know if that's still the case. It probably isn't. Um, but man, it is, it, it's impressive. They're a really impressive piece. This gun is in fantastic shape. And again, it's in the same lot with that uh, high standard. And that lot is 2653. And of course, how could we spend any time discussing important shotguns if we didn't include the iconic, highly collectible, scarce, rare, desirable trench gun, the Winchester Model 12 trench gun. This thing is really, really cool. It's got the flaming bomb on the barrel on the top. 
along with the uh, WP, the Winchester proof mark. It's got the US mark and the flaming bomb on the right side of the receiver. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if there's interest in trench guns, these could be a topic all of their own. They're so fascinating and there are so many different kinds. There are several trench guns that are going into this auction as well. This particular one is lot number 1164. Now there are a few really cool things about sharing these collections before they come up for sale. One of them is that instead of just showing things that we can't own, just interesting firearms that we've happened to come across and get to handle, these things are all going to be owned by somebody else in a short period of time. So this is all stuff that you can actually buy uh, or own um, if it's something that you're interested in. Number two, there's an enormous amount of research that's gone into each and every one of these guns. And if you go to the pool and auction website, uh, you can look them up either by lot or by type or by style or by day that they're available. And you can find all kinds of really nice professional studio photography with all of these individual guns as, as well as a complete description that a cataloger or a specialist in that particular area has put together. So th there, are, there are answers to questions I don't even know enough to ask that are in there. So someone that specializes in these things can usually find exactly what they're looking for by checking out the website. So that's going to wrap my second day of uh, five interesting you fill in the blank guns. Yesterday's video was uh, semi-auto variants of guns that are typically found as full autos. Today it was scatter guns, room brooms, shotguns, uh, street sweepers, and uh, there are there are plenty of them in here. This is just things that I find interesting. There may be things you find far more interesting than the ones I'm showing you. This is just a small sample of the kind of stuff that I like. But you can find out everything that's coming up in all these auctions, as well as have this info to share for our community. I mean, this is fantastic info and beautiful photography that can live uh, in infinity. So it's it's good, solid information that's out there. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel both on YouTube and on Full30 and make sure you click notify so you know when we upload something new. Since social media is being so rough on the content creators, you can join the family over at Patreon if you so desire. And uh, sometimes we try to give some behind the scenes sneak peeks at things that are going on. And if you just like to talk guns, probably Facebook is the best place to do that at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Till next time, have fun and be safe.